Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 2 of Cars. Actually no, this is episode 3, isn't it? Episode 3 of Cars Old But New. Today we have the exclusive Night Vision Lightning McQueen with the 88 page collector guide from 2009 that has 135 plus images of Cars vehicles. So sit back, relax, get some popcorn, get a drink. Without further ado, let's get into it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front right here. Th look, I am very excited to open this thing up already because I've, you know, I've just been waiting and waiting. Um, I got this about a week ago, or no, no, uh, I got this actually I think two weeks ago, um, and it's just been on, um, on, on my, on my shelf, just waiting to be opened. And like me and my brother have been so just like happy and excited to open this. Exclusive vehicle right there. Night Vision Lightning McQueen. Uh, focus, please, come on. Number 109 and the Radio Springs logo right there. Here is the collector guide. We'll take a look at it more uh, once we open this. This is a sticker, okay. 88 page collector guide included. Race Rama on the top, Cars logo. The world of cars, actually. Wow, this is, this is really old. That's how you know it's old. It says the world of cars. This is of course made in China, contains one vehicle and one collector guide. Here is the back. We have the visit worldofcars.com, build a car and race it online. Uh, wow, this is from a long time ago too. Um, this is from yeah, 2009, wow. What's inside the collector guide? And it shows you some an example of something. So, you know, collected number, the name, the segment color, uh, the segment symbol as well. Um, for example, oh, okay, so this one over here is the, in the Radiator Springs little, uh, segment, as it's called. Um, 88 full color pages, 135 images of cars, vehicles, collecting tips, and movie fun facts. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be opening up this car and also, um, going through every single page of this collector guide and doing like a deep analysis of it so let's go ahead and finally open this thing up now i don't know how to open this um i'm not you know i'm a race rama um opening rookie oh uh, okay it's kind of ruining the package there but oh man i don't, I don't want to do that H how do i open this without ruining the package um, do I like cut into it? How am I supposed to do this? Uh, I, okay, fine. I guess I'll just go from the back. All right, there we go. There's that part taken out. Um, you know, actually, I think here, here's something I can do. I have some scissors here, right? Now, um, I just want to say, be careful if you're a kid, be care, be, be very careful, careful. With scissors, ask your parents before going, grabbing a pair of scissors. Please do that. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because I do not want to get any comments saying, oh, you should have said something like that because my kid went and grabbed scissors without my permission and you told him to. Yeah, I just told you, go ask your parents um, if you're gonna grab scissors or any cutting device mechanism thingy. Okay, why is this plastic so hard to cut? Finally, there we go. All right, so I just want to cut the bottom, nothing else. I'm gonna cut out the bottom and then we'll go from there. So we can just get this out like that. The things I do to keep collector card, or no, the, the packaging intact. 
Okay, I think this should work. No, it might not. Okay, if we fold this up a bit, pull this one out. Perfect. We can get the car out now. Oh, there we go. It actually worked. Now, maybe I can try and slide this book down here without messing it up. If I mess up this book, I'm going to be very sad. Because the, really the entire reason I bought this was for the collector guide. Well, okay, not the entire reason. I, I bought this because this McQueen looked cool as well. Um, yeah, so if I can somehow, maybe like just pull this out from... There we go, there we go. So, come on, making progress. Please don't rip, please don't break. Okay, you know what? Oh my scissors. I am not about to break this beautiful thing. Scissors, this is where you come in. Oh, come on. Okay, th this is the hardest thing I've ever opened. The hardest car. Like, come on, please don't cut the book. Why is it so hard just to finally rip it off right there? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this is just, this is really, really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this packaging here. Here, let me take off this exclusive vehicle sticker so I can keep it. Maybe it'll, no, it's not gonna work, whatever. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Here, you know what? See, this is what scissors are made for. Chop this part off so I can keep it as a souvenir from my car's racerama endeavor that I've it's a journey I just went on of opening this legendary vehicle. Finally, it is open. Okay, that, that, that took longer than needed, but I'm keeping these parts over here and these parts over here. Um, my camera wasn't even focused this entire time. That's pretty annoying. Oh, hey, perfect. I can just fold this in right there. Oh, th this is awesome. Wow. This is really cool. Um, okay, we got some plastic over here. That can leave over there and go there. I, I think I just spent five minutes trying to open up this McQueen. That was pretty annoying. But I'm keeping this because this is old and Wait, hold on, aren't, isn't there supposed to be... Okay, yeah, so here's the little code back here for the World of Cars um, app or website thingy. It doesn't work anymore because that thing isn't even uh, open. The, the website isn't even on or open anymore. But let me go grab my, um, my smaller tripod stand thingy so that we can take a look at this McQueen. Okay, th this is such a really just awesome moment right here that i finally get to open up this car okay is there like texture there's actually texture on this tar right here what that is so cool I, why, why am i why am i so amazed by a lightning mcqueen why, why this is just so cool um we have the the night vision goggles up here as well the, we have the, the tar with the lightning bolt, Rusty's, Rusty's, 95. His continuing sponsors are Piston Cup, Nitrate. Come on, focus then, please. Focus! I need you to focus, please. Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Mood Springs, Octane Gain, Vitally, No Stall, Gasprin, Gaskets, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Tucker Pistons, Retrade, Clutch Aid, and Leakless. He has beautiful white, um... Not light ear, white wool tires with um, red rims. Here is the back. This is a 155 scale die cast made by Mattel, custom painted with no paper stickers. Let's take a look at him on the turntable real quick. 
I don't feel like making any edits again, so I'm just gonna do this simple. Um, what is happening over here? There, stay up there, please. Thank you. Um, I'm talking to my microphone, by the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy on the turntable. Okay, honestly, I feel like a kid in a candy store right now just reviewing this car. Um, okay, so that concludes the review portion of this video. Now let's go ahead and um, put you on my tripod right there. There we go, and let's go ahead and take a look at the collector guide right here. Oh, I, I'm so excited for this collector guide. I'm really, really, really excited. Okay, this is probably going to take around like 10 minutes or so, so... Um, I hope that you guys did go and get your popcorn, um, because this is going to take a while to take a look at. Um, where's my pointer? Here it is. Cars Racing Rama 2009 Collector Guide, um, 135 plus images of cars, vehicles inside. I am so excited. Uh, we have the beautiful image of this McQueen. On the back we have Disney Pixar Cars, McQueen and Mater looking at each other. That's, this is awesome. Oh, what? Okay, th this is really cool. Oh, it, it even, there's like a little table of contents as well. This is so cool. Um, wow. So the yellow ones are Radiator Springs. Orange are Piston Cup Racers. Red is Piston Cup Race Day. Uh, this like light blue is Piston Cup Pit Crew. Um, this one, the, the, the like weird yellow one is Highway 66. The Dynaco blue one is Dynaco. The um this one is Cars Tune. Oh yeah, cause they they were making Cars Tunes at, at this time, weren't they? Um the, the the other light blue is the mega size ones. For example, um uh, Gray Semi, which will be reviewed um this week as well. The trucks and trailers is this one, the, the gray over here. Um, in 2009, cars are more collectible than ever. It's easy to start a car's vehicle collection. Look for the ticket on the package to collect by color, symbol, or number. Or just collect your favorite characters. So, alright, so let's, uh, let's see. So this is going to be the segment, okay, so blue, or, yeah, whatever the color the ticket is, that's the segment color. So, for example, this is Dynaco right here. And blue over here, blue Dynaco correlates. The symbol is going to match up with this symbol over here. The number is going to be the number, uh, let's see, I think the number of that car that has been um, uh, released. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how that works, but um, the vehicle name is going to be right there. And then the rare chase, so this will indicate whether it's like a rare chase vehicle or package. Um, so apparently this Dynaco McQueen is kind of like rare. Or uh, maybe it's a chase. Okay, so right here we have a beautiful picture of Ramon and Flo looking at each other. Um, so number two, we have Radio Springs, Light and McQueen. I'm, I'm surprised that there is no number one. Uh, number three is the... Okay, maybe number one was just the regular McQueen. Or is this number one? No, this is the number 109. Wow. Okay, Dirt Track McQueen right there. This is the Radiator Springs series. Four is Cruising McQueen. Six, oh, there's no five, really? Hmm. Number six is Cactus McQueen. Seven is Bugmouth McQueen. Eleven is Daka. Wait, how, okay, how does this work? There's, there's like no numbering system here. I mean, there is, but it doesn't go in order. That's weird. Okay, so we got Doc Hudson. Now we have a page full of Ramones. Uh, Yellow Ramon, Hydraulic Ramon, which is really red Ramon because it doesn't have hydraulics. Ghostlight Ramon, uh, Purple Ramon, the regular version. Uh, green Ramon over here, old school Ramon, brand new Mater, regular Mater over here. Um, next we have Ferrari F430. I actually own this guy. Uh, let me see right here. Where is he? I have Ferrari F430 right here. Uh, that, that's awesome. Um, Lightning McQueen with bumper stickers over here. Um, let's see, Spin Out Lightning McQueen. 
Fillmore. Um, I'm gonna turn off the flash because that's what's making the um, the the glare. Um, Ham over here. Yeti, the abominable snowplow. Sheriff and Sally. What's wrong with Sheriff's Island down there? Um, okay, number number fifty-one is Lizzie. Um, here's Tar Lightning McQueen. Fred with bumper stickers. Sally with cone. Edwin Cranks, Impound Lightning McQueen, Impound Boost, Impound Snot Rod, um, Greta, Impound DJ, Hank Halloween Murphy, and Impound Wingo. Um, all right, over here we have Tumbleweed McQueen, Milton Calipier, uh, Ferrari F430 with Chase Package. Oh yeah, he was a Chase. Uh, I saw a couple of these on eBay as well. Blowing Bubbles Mater. Um, See, is there just another page right here? Saluting Sarge, Muddy Lightning McQueen, Night Vision Lightning McQueen, um, that's right over here, White Walls McQueen, and then next up we got Pistic Abrasers. We got a picture of McQueen and Chick Hicks. Okay, so uh, all right, so number one is the regular Lightning McQueen. Okay, so this booklet goes in order of the of like the different segments. These are the segments. But, um, but, so there is a numbering system, it does go from 1 to, I don't know where, uh, I don't know what the last one is, but there is a numbering system, but it just doesn't go in the order of the, um, of the segments. Okay, that, that makes sense. So number one, we have, for Piston Debracers, Lightning McQueen, um, then we have Tongue Lightning McQueen. Next we have the Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Now, I really wish that... They made one that's like this one in this promo promo image that has the red white uh, red actually they, they did make the tires they just didn't put it on this one the tires they were uh, tires and rims they were on the decked out dock huts in the snow one we got Dale Earnhardt Jr. Chick Hicks RPM number 64 Winifred Bradford Rutherford okay that, that, that will always be one of the best names ever Winifred Bradford Rutherford Strip Weathers Mr. The King Leakless number 52, Claude Scruggs. Nitrate number 28, Aiken Axler. Um, Damaged King, right there. Now, I also looked up uh, Damaged the King on eBay to see if I could buy him. But uh, he's pretty expensive for what he is. Um, well, granted, it's, it's, it is a really rare and cool car. Uh, we got the King with the Piston Cup right there. Chick Hicks with his Piston Cup that he did not earn. Um, did you know there are 334 decals on Chick Hicks? I did not know that. So next we have Piston Cup Race Day, which I actually did um, buy another Racerama car, which will be arriving to my house. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, actually, the day that this video is coming out today, Monday, is when um, that that car will be arriving, and I will be reviewing him sometime next week. Um, we have, for Piston Up Race Day, Mario Andretti, Kathy Copter, um, Bob Cullis, and the one that I ordered is Daryl Cartrip coming today, um, which will be reviewed next week. We have Fred, Race Tow Truck Tom, Race Official Tom, oh wait, no, t today's video is, um, I I'm pre-recording this video, by the way, um, so the video you're currently watching is going to be up on... Tuesday, so that Daryl car trip actually for you guys that came yesterday for me. It's coming tomorrow um, Yeah, so race official Tom uh, Axel accelerator the that guy Chuki Al off the light your blimp um, Let me see here. What's next? Charlie checker Ron hover Dexter Hoover Corey Turbowitz. I have all these characters right here um, We do have next Timothy Two Stroke. Um, this isn't actually the the actual model that they made of him. I'll put a picture of the on the screen of the of the actual one. There you go. So it appears that they used um, this model for the for the image right here, but um, a different model for the actual release. Chuck Manifold, Andrea Chuki with the Chase package. Um, who is next? Todd. Nice. The Pizza Planet truck. Patty, Mario Andretti with Chase Package, Costanzo Della Corza. Oh, so he was okay. He wasn't in Radio Springs. I thought he was. 
Skip Richter, Polly Puddle Jumper. Did you know that Fillmore and Fred are the only characters in the Cars movie with front license plates? I actually did know that. Next, we have the Piston Gut Pit Crew, and we have a picture picture of the uh, crew chief, uh, Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Next, we have Lightning Ramon for the Piston Gut Pit Crew. Lightning Ramon, Leakless Pity Stacy. That's uh, the Pity's name. What in the world is this doing? We have RPM Pity Petro Pulaski. Okay, th this reminds me of um of Fire Truck Pulaski from the Planes movie, and so so there was this uh, there was this short right. Um, that was about cat uh, spinner and the one part i always remember from that short is um fire truck uh, pulaski is on the scene uh, no I, I don't know why that's so funny it just is uh pit crew member fabulous hudson hornet pit crew member guido pit crew member fillmore how many more pages are in here well because i'm running out of recording time once again my name is not chuck chief no stall Nitro Pity, Octane Game Pity, which is actually Dudley Spare. Um, let's see. Tanko Pity, Jerry Drive Chain, or uh, also known as Pink. Um, okay, he's he's known as that um, by Piston Gun Productions. Chief RPM, Trunk Fresh Pity, Easy Idol Pity. Now, to my knowledge, these two were released. But on this next page right here, I believe. Yep, right here. Wow. Okay, seeing seeing these in person are actually this is really cool. And to a cola pity, this was not released at all. This was a cancelled car. So was this the Mood Springs Pity. The Vitaline Pity out of these three was the only one released. Now it would be kinda cool if they did release these two um now a days. Like maybe for 2022. Next we have Highway 66, which was the highway that Mac was driving on to get to uh, California. We have Wingo and DJ. We got Leroy Traffic, Boost. Um, right, so next up we have DJ and Wingo right there. This is actually the original picture for DJ. Um, the reason I know is because he has the, the eyes that are really like wide apart. Um, we have Snot Rod and Van right there. Let's go to the next page. And where is this thing? Here it is. And there's Mini right there. So there's only about, let me see, one, it's five. Okay, so seven cars in this Highway 66 um, series. Did you know Lightning McQueen wears a yellow rookie stripe on his back bumper? I indeed did know that because it is right here. Next, we have the Dynaco series. We have Dynaco McQueen right here. Dynaco Lightning McQueen. Bling Bling Lightning McQueen. Um, we're almost to the end of this booklet. Dynaco Chick Hicks. This Chick Hicks looks very, um, um, interesting. Dynaco Helicopter, which is Rotor Turboski, I think his name is. Tex Dynaco. Dynaco Pity. Luke Pedalwork. That's him right there. <clears throat> All right then, the uh, the blender has concluded, I believe. Danico Lightning McQueen, piston cup. Uh, he comes with a piston cup. Cool. Did you know in the Cars movie, Danico is the major sponsor that Lightning McQueen dreams of racing for. Buzz and Woody were lost at a Danico gas station in the Toy Story movie. I remember that from the original Toy Story movie, and I know that Dynco is a major sponsor. Um, alright. So here's a picture of Mater, and here's some things right here. More Cars vehicles coming soon, from the Cars Toon series. Rescue Squad Mater. Um, I right here have the, the metallic one. Um, Burnt Lightning McQueen, Dr. Mater, Nurse Mia, and Nurse Tia. That is, of course, from the short rescue squad mater itself i don't think that there are any more okay no so that's uh, that's it for the car student stuff um we have al off the light your blimp right up there uh flying above the motor speedway of the south um over here we have lightning storm lightning mcqueen that's what this is called lightning storm lightning mcqueen i was trying to figure out what that was called 
Okay, here uh, we have the mega sized ones now. We have Marco right there. Um, Mech Semi, Alof to let your blimp. Dynaco Helicopter, Barney Stormin. Um, I think next is gonna be some haulers. Yeah, Dustin Mellows, uh, Chick Hicks Semi, Elvis RV. They, they don't actually have the actual diecast picture of him on here, but they did release him. Uh, Gray Semi, I actually did buy this guy, and he's gonna be reviewed either on Thursday or on Friday of this week. Not sure which day yet. We have Hummer, uh, Hummer Zven. Yeah, I was actually thinking of buying him, um, but I, uh, I don't know why I didn't buy him yet, but I might buy him soon. RPM Semi, Frank, no stall Semi, I actually have that one out of the package, if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, it's back here. Hold on a second, let me grab him. Boom, we have a no stall Semi right there. Not sure if he has a name at all, but yeah, um, these are, okay, th this isn't the, the actual one from the movie, this is a, it's like a concept art, both of these ones, the RPM Semi and the No Stall one. But yeah, I do have the No Stall one, it is kind of broken though. Um, yeah, what's this? Some string. Anyway, next, uh, who do we have next up here? Ooh, we have high and low Ramon, which is basically just hydraulic Ramon. Um, I actually don't know if they made this, if they actually made this one. Octane Gain Semi, I think they did make that one. I think I've seen it. Did you know Mac is voiced by John Ratzenberger, the only actor who has voiced a character in every Pixar feature film? We have Mac right here, and now we have trucks and trailers. We have the Mac Hauler from Cars 1. Chick Hicks Holler. Um, I, I believe that this is the final series here. Gray Holler, Octane Gain Holler, Jerry Recycled Battery, Leakless Holler. And then um, a couple more pages. Gill, Nitroid Holler, Trunk Fresh Holler, The No Stall Holler. This is again a, um, a concept art that was drawn, I believe. Um, so is this one and this one. Uh, RPM Holler. They did release that one, I believe. Now here, the final thing here is, yeah, the final one that's here is Shiny Wax Holler. He did not get released. He was gonna be released, but I think, um, I think, I think there was one actually in the Peterson Museum a long time ago of this guy, but he was not released. Um, he was canceled. Did you know, everything in the Cars movie was inspired by real cars. The flowers are made of taillights and car fins. Really? I didn't know that. The airplane tra uh, tracks in the sky are tiger marks. I, I saw that. Um, the insects are VW beetles and the sounds they make are actual VW sounds sped up. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Over here we have products subject to avail availability. Colors and decorations may vary. Name subject to change. Mattel Inc. All rights reserved. And there is all of the legal jargon right there. I finally figured out what legal jargon means. It basically just means a bunch of legal terms and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys all enjoyed today's review of this car and the collector guide. This video was over 20 minutes. Wow. Going on 30 minutes. Uh, I think this is actually the longest uh, review of one singular car in the history of my channel so hopefully that um hopefully no other review will take this long I, I think the only one that might take uh close to this amount of time would be um the car sting precision series mac or maybe just um a regular hauler or a custom hauler that i'm actually thinking of making soon but anyway i'm not going to talk about that right now i'm going to leave it as a little surprise for sometime maybe next month but thank you all for watching this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and also turn on those post notifications so that you'll never miss when I upload a new video. This is Rusty's95 signing out until tomorrow where we will be taking a look at the Cars 3 Precision Series mech. I still have no idea how he placed third. He placed above Retro, Ramon, and Gray Semi. I have no idea how he placed above those two. Anyway, 
Bye.